Hello. Oh, Splen Stanko here. Coming at you with another figure review. Today we have got Marvel Legends Rhino Wave White Tiger. What do you think of this character? Honestly, I don't really know anything about her besides what I've seen in the Ultimate Spider-Man show. Um, not versed on the character at all, really, apart from that. But I did really enjoy her in that show, and I am happy to have a figure of her, because she was pretty cool in that show. But I've never read anything about her, so apart from that, no idea. So, let's have a quick look at the packaging, and then we'll take this bad girl out and see how good she really is. So as you can see, you've got the Marvel Legends Infinity Series there, along with the Marvel logo there. From the Build a Figure Collection, Marvel's Rhino there, and Marvel's White Tiger name down there, and of course, the little tiny Hasbro. On the side of the packaging, you actually have a picture of White Tiger. And again, on the other side of the packaging, the exact same artwork. Come around to the back of the packaging, and you can see you have the obligatory product shot of the actual figure that looks to be like the prototype and of course you can see the rest of the figures in the wave we have already done comedian ghost rider craven and now we're on to number three white tiger we then will be doing number three again for misty knight someone in hasbro can't count obviously <laughs> yes very annoying so there's your close-up shot for those that would like to pause and read that bio. So let's get her out of the packaging and see how good she really is. Okay, so here we have White Tiger out of the packaging. What do we think? Honestly, yeah, she's pretty cool. Um, I'm surprised I haven't actually picked her up sooner. But yeah, very, very cool addition to the Marvel collection. Very happy to have her. The figure itself isn't anything amazing. But it is nice to have an incarnation of this character in your Marvel Legends comic wave. Well, I suppose even if you wanted to tie over or do an ultimate Marvel series wave, you could use this as your white tiger. Now, she only technically comes with two accessories, one of which, of course, is her tiger necklace. And we'll have a quick close look in a minute. And the other accessory she comes with is the bath part, which is the rhino torso. But we will, as per usual, have a close look at this when we have a look at the overall figure. One gripe I have had with this figure is her elbows. Everything on her is nice and tight and not loose and pretty good. Her elbows, I could not bend them. I was pretty confident if I bent them by forcing them, they would have snapped. So I've had to quickly warm them up to get them. So I may not be able to straighten them and I might have problems throughout the video. Hopefully doing this as one time has freed them up, but we shall see as we go on. So let's have a quick close-up look at that accessory and then we'll take a closer look at the actual figure. So then a quick close-up look at the actual necklace. As you can see, it is literally like a cat head or a tiger head with some tiger paws. The paint apps is a bit splodgy. I'm not kind of really happy with that. Because it kind of literally like they've just kind of went Bleh, and just put a bit on there. But yeah, I think all in all it's, it's okay. Um, it's a nice little design. There's literally just the two colors. You've got the green and obviously the paint of the like mustardy yellow. Nothing really on the back. And it is slightly softer plastic. But all in all, it's pretty good. Now I might either glue or blue tack this to her neck to stop it floating around. And if you ever want to take it off, you just pop the head off. Put the necklace on. And then put the head. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> there you go. So like I said, I might like either glue or put a bit of blue tack just there, just stop it from bouncing around so much. So having a quick close up look at the actual figure. There's not really much to say here. It's pretty much all a solid plastic, solid color, the minimalistic paint apps. We've seen this body mold a few times now. Uh, it was an Arachnia, Spider Girl. Uh, I think parts of Magic uses it as well. And even Jubilee, I'm pretty sure Jubilee Baffy uses it. I don't actually have Jubilee. Um, but it's a solid like, teenage girl mold and it does look really good and we will do a comparison later with like an adult one so you can see the differences. Now I've done what I said, I put a bit of blue tack on that so now it doesn't go around but if I want to remove it it's easily it's just blue tack so. I just think it's a bit nicer so it doesn't like, if I'm doing an action pose it's not around a neck or something or I don't have to worry about it. 
Now the hair is actually a really hard plastic and I'm quite surprised I've done that because it does hinder the articulation. Even when I was trying to put the head on, I was having to fight a little bit with the hair. So that's a bit annoying. The only paint apps we have are the eyes. They're a really nice green that does match the plastic. Pretty good. And then you have the actual tiger stripes you've got on her shoulders, her arms, and her waist. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. There is not another bit of paint anywhere, I suppose, apart from that. Um, <laughs> now, the white itself is like a bit of an off-white, like almost like a bit dirty white, which is quite nice. I like that. But yeah, all in all, really, really nice looking figure. I mean, this is what she looks like, so there's not much they can really do. These hands, although they do look like Black Hat's hands, they're not. They're slightly smaller. Okay, moment of truth. Let's try articulation. See how well those elbows are going to hold up. <laughs> so the head I saw is on a ball disc, so it can go down quite far. And it can go up far, but the hair is going to hinder it. But if you kind of work with the hair, you can, I don't know, if you kind of tuck it under the arm or something, she has the ability, capability of going all the way up. A uh, little midgen of pivot, but really nothing worth talking about. Shoulders on borders, they can go around 360 degrees and they can go out really far. Uh, no bicep rotation, bit sad about that, but I do like these elbows because they do give you a great range. So, oh god, can you hear that? It's so tight. As you can see, we can bend past 90 degrees, so I am very happy about that. Uh, and as per usual, you know, they're not too bad going like, I guess 90 degrees rotating to the left or to the right. But when you start going all the way around, you are slightly losing some. But still, it's not terrible. Wrist is on a rotation, 360 degrees. Now, they both have the hinge going up and down like that. I know Black Cat has it going like that. Have a diaphragm joint, so she can go forward only that much, back only that much. Pivot from there to there and can rotate around full 360 degrees. My blue tech has come undone. <laughs> T-cut hips. No waist rotation whatsoever. T-cut hips. So with this leg all the way forward and this leg all the way back, that is her Spartan kick. That's very disappointing. But this is, again, all these molds stuff from that. I think if you trim a little bit out from the crutch there, maybe even a little bit off the thigh or the hip, it would increase that. But then you are going to lose some of the aesthetic look. Split kick of... That, not bad at all. Now be wary, these hips do like to pop off quite easily. That is a bit frustrating. Have an upper thigh rotation, 360 degrees there. Double bend in the knee there. Boot rotation, nice, 360 degrees there. An ankle point from there to there. So broken ankle, and a pivot from there to there. As late Glenn Webb used to say, utilizing those ankle rockers, this is the furthest possible split she can do with both feet firmly on the ground. Okay, so, size comparison. White Tiger stands, so the top of her little is five and, just under five and three quarter inches. No, yeah, about five and three quarter inches tall, which is 14 and a half centimeters. Okay, here we have us stood next some other characters using repeated body molds. We have her fellow member from the Ultimate Spider-Man TV show, Sam Alexander Kid Nova, Tiger Stripe Wolverine, Peter and Spider-Man, Bucky Cat, Fellow Lady in White, Jewel, for this is the adult female body, Craven, who I know they have a bit of history, well again based on TV show, the bulkier adult male body mold, and then the even bulkier male body mold Venom, and then the super bulky body mold <laughs> Colossus. Okay, so, final thoughts. Would we recommend this figure? Honestly, yeah. Yeah, she's a pretty solid figure. I know there's really not much to her. What she has, she does well. I am still fine with those elbow joints, so I might just have to cut these open and trim a little bit of plastic down because I am generally worried about snapping the peg that goes into the arm. That's my only gripe with this figure. But if she's true to what she looks like in uh, in the comics and or show, I don't know if she's in the comics. <laughs> I really don't know anything about her. But, yeah, it's cool to have her, have her as an addition. Would I say this is one of my tops? I would have preferred something different than yes. I don't know who, but, yeah, definitely not one of my top priority figures. Which is why I've never picked her up since. I mean, I've pretty much had the entire wave prior, apart from Ghost Rider. But, all in all, 
I think it works well, and I think she's a solid figure. Do you know, the more I'm posing around, the more I'm struggling with the limitations of this body mold. These hips are really frustrating, as is the limitation of the ab crunch. I may have to do something about that, because that is very frustrating. This is supposed to be a very agile, superior martial art character. She can't even bring her foot past the height of her knee. It shows concern. <laughs> I still do like her, but yeah, I definitely think some alterations might be required. I might try and post a video if I do choose to do that. I know some of you out there do actually enjoy my customs. I know I haven't done one in freaking forever. After I complete this wave, I am hoping to get into some custom work. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you did like this review. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next one, which is, of course, the amazing Misty Knight. <laughs> Probably what I'm looking for the least in that wave. Thanks a lot guys, see ya!